called The Magic Finger by Roald Dahl. I have a whole Roald Dahl series, and I'm planning to do all of the Roald Dahl books in that series not so far from now. And they're right there on my bookshelf in the back. And I like Roald Dahl books kind of because they... So each... So look, this bit... This has a picture, this has a picture. Each one has a, has a picture. And they're not the best. And, and they're not the best pictures. Like, look, they're more of sketches. And it's illustrated by Queenatin Blake. Okay. Here, look. I'll show you. Quentin Blake. Quentin Blake right there. So. And um, it's about a little girl and Philip Gregg, William Gregg, Mr. and Mrs. Gregg. And um, so Mr. and Mrs. Gregg, Mr. Gregg and Philip and William aren't very nice to the kids. Every day they go out and they would shoot some animals, like this. They would shoot some animals, just for fun. And she's mad, she's cross. That's not good, because she has the magic finger. And the magic finger is something she has been able to do all her life and she doesn't know how to do it because she doesn't even know how to do it herself. But it happens when she gets cross and when she sees red. And then she gets very hot. And the tip of the forefinger on my right hand begins to tingle most terribly so. It's tingling, tingling. It's like you have growing pain on your foot, in your hand, on your finger. And suddenly a flash comes out of and some like something electric it jumps out and touches the person who has made and each time she does that it makes something bad happen so for example so that's an easy one she says to her teacher when her teacher tells her to spell cat k a t that's what she says and miss winter our teacher says, no, that's not right. You're a bad girl. And no, she says, like, no, I'm a good girl. And she's like, go stand in the corner. And then she gets cross. She, she's red. And she puts the magic finger on Miss Winter. So strong. And guess what happens? She grows whiskers. And then when she turned around, she grew a tail. So it happens. Uh, and sometimes, like, animal stuff happens to things. And she puts them, she puts it on Mr. and Miss Greg. And now the birds. With legs that are human legs. And a head that's a human head. And birds have arms like that. So they have to go and they have to make a nest. So they make a nest and they live life, a life, a day as a bird. So then afterwards they come back and they're like, oh, now we're normal again. And so now they're normal people. And so then they realize we shouldn't have been doing this. So, Mr. Greg smashes. Smash, 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 smashes. Oh, the guns. And um, in another, in a corner, Miss Greg was placing beautiful flowers on 16 tiny mounds of soil, which she, she learned later were the graves of the ducks that had been shot the day before. Just like 
that. And today we're feeding the birds. So look what the birds have to feast on. So, and then she realizes, well that will teach them a lesson. And so she goes and there's another, um, and there's another family who likes going out and shooting things. And then she's like, oh, this taught them a lesson. It will surely taught other people a lesson. So she went and she put the magic finger on everybody who was shooting. And then everybody was shooting stop shooting. And uh, this book is a really good book because as I said, it's magical. And it's kind of cool to read. Like, humans turn into animals? Cool! And, well, it's, um, I really like it. I mean, it's not really hard to understand. And it's a really good book. I think you might like it. Maybe someday you might read this magic finger book. See you next time on Amaya the Science Kid video. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Throw the book in the air!